So today, we're gonna be doing some ridiculous things in Gran Turismo 7. We have everything from wide body Teslas to Hellcats with way too much power and everything in between. And if you wanna see more of this, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay, so we're gonna start off here with the Hellcat at Daytona and I really just wanna make the most ridiculous Hellcat possible. So this is the stock version. As you can see, it pretty much already blows the competition out of the water. I mean, I'm pretty sure I might lose it in the corners, but this is good. The speed on this thing is just ridiculous out of the box. 707 horsepower, but you know what? I know we can go more. So yeah, we're gonna experiment with that. I got a couple other things in mind. Uh, some cars that actually handle good, we'll play with those later. Uh, but I just really kinda wanted to jump in. I've been playing this game quite a bit. Oh, no, 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 it's gonna get sideways. Okay, saved it. Also, I need to turn off those turn markers. It's showing me the apex at Daytona. Like, I'm pretty sure I could see the turn. Okay, we almost just lost it there, too. But yeah, uh, I've got a couple other things I want to do here. I've been playing this game quite a bit. Uh, you have to grind away, really, to begin with, because the first of the game, it's rather slow, kind of like any other Gran Turismo game. So if you guys want to see more of this or see me struggle, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and let's go catch the leader. Okay, I'm trying to see what the leader's in. It kind of looks either like the back end of a Camaro. It might be, yeah, it's the Camaro. All right, it's the Camaro SS. Let's go ahead, go up the banking. I can't hold it wide open around here. Uh, we're lacking a little bit of uh, grip in this heavy car, but I think we can fix it with some upgrades. Uh, so we're definitely gonna have to jump in and do that. Oh, look at the glorious fireworks. Uh, by the way, this game's absolutely stunning. Uh, by far, probably my favorite console racer. I mean, it just looks amazing here on the PS5. All right, here we come to the finish. 194, very, very nice. First place, we'll get a little bit of money. I mean, we're gonna need a lot of money to upgrade this thing though. Like I'm looking for 900 plus horsepower. I mean, if we can get to a thousand, that'd be a thing, but I don't think it is. All right, we're ready to go to the tuning shop. Now you're probably gonna ask Komodo, how did you get that much money? Well, I did buy the, uh, the collector's edition of the game and it gave you like 1.5 million uh, credits and the game's actually pretty decent about giving you credits. Uh, it does like you to buy a lot of cars though in order to advance, but luckily you can win a lot of them too. Okay, so we definitely want to do all the stages of weight reduction. So we have five different uh, categories here. So we have sports, club sports, semi-racing, racing, and extreme, uh, which I have all the parts unlocked. I just have to buy them. Uh, so we have to go by stage. So we'll do all the stages of weight reduction because this is a heavy car. I mean, you're talking about stock over 4,000 pounds. So we want to definitely take off some weight there. Put it on the old car, Jenny Craig diet. Also, it's almost $40,000 for racing tires. That's a little on the ridiculous side. Okay, as far as things that we need for this. Well, we want to upgrade the suspension for sure. Uh, we'll go with the top of the line that we can get, which I believe is going to be the fully customizable suspension. That's 20000 there. This is only going to be like a $300,000 car. It's fine. So the charger already has a supercharger, uh, but we've got to upgrade it once. So that brings us to 769 And then we're pretty much going to pile in all the other racing parts here. What about the polished ports? All right, so we're at 808 What about the energy or the engine balance tuning? Uh, it's English. It's going to be 856. We're near it, but we haven't quite made it up to where I want to. Ooh, nitrous. Also, I don't know where they get these prices, but it's $100,000 or 100,000 credits uh, for the nitrous system. Uh, that'll be good. I don't know if we're going to use it much. I mean, we could use it at like Daytona or something. If I had some drag racing, we could do it in there too. So there is a fully customizable computer. There we go. 907. I think that's about as high as we're going to get it right now. Uh, we could probably go into the tuning and see if we can get a little more out of it. But I think we're going to convert over to the GT Auto and we can do some further customizations. And I have a bit of an idea. I really love the wide body chargers. Uh, so we can actually make the modification here. 25 grand. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, also the animation. That's kind of strange. It's totally how that works. Okay, we need some different rims. I like the uh, BBS. I actually have these on some of my other cars. Uh, I like these here, so I think we're gonna put these on. So as far as paint, we're gonna go into the designs that the community made and we'll find something really nice. Uh, I kind of like this candy metallic. I don't understand why it doesn't let you see it on your vehicle. It has a sample vehicle, which is a Supra, which by the way, I have one of those too. It handles fantastic. 
But as far as parts, uh, we want a lip on this. We definitely want some uh, better side skirts. And then I think we can put a diffuser on this. There we go. And then I'm tempted to put a wing. I don't know. I wish they had taller spoilers. I'm not a huge fan of the wing here. Also, I'm kind of curious. Does it actually affect the handling? I, like, I don't see anything that actually says, like, hey, this gives it downforce. I don't know. I think we're just going to leave it like this for now. Okay, I think I found maybe the perfect looking paint job on it. This green is awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely gonna apply this to it. There we go, beautiful. By the way, here's the creator of the paint job. Okay, so we're gonna run a fairly similar, oh geez, the glare off the back of these uh, Hellcats. So we're running essentially the same race. I think we're actually running against stock Hellcats. Uh, I was kind of curious, so I'm gonna start in the back of the field here. Then we'll go do some actual road racing. Uh, I really just wanted to soup up one of these Hellcats and okay, it is so unstable. Uh, I bet you we're going to go so fast down the backstretch. Plus we have nitrous. So here we go. Ease into it. Okay, we need to clear. We need like an opening here. All right. And there's the nitrous. Holy man, it's so fast. Uh, we might need to gear it out a little bit more. What's it going to top out at? Oh, it was 220 in the corner. Oh, okay. Save it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. Oh, and oh. Um, okay, uh, we just caused the big one. Uh, this is fine. You know, we should probably just restart this. Okay, this time we're not gonna just immediately smash the nitrous down the back stretch. Uh, we'll smash it right here a little bit. There we go. Up, oh, go to the inside. Oh, geez. Uh, this thing is, uh, pretty unstable, which I kind of pictured it being unstable. I do have the racing tires on, which it is helping, but the added acceleration and speed is not helping. <laughs> That's a bit of a thing. Okay. All right, let's go nitrous again. Okay, let's get off it here. Let's go ahead and let off a little bit. <laughs> Just kind of ease it down in the corner. Okay, that guy's not giving me any room here. There we go. Okay, back into the throttle here. Got a, a nice little race going on. Too bad I'm gonna have to... Okay, that was bad. Oh, no, 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 save it. Okay, we saved it. Okay, now we can just go and get out of here. <laughs> Bye, losers. Yeah, there, there might be a chance if I can change the AI to just the garage cars that I have, uh, because I would like to actually see the AI attempt to drive this thing. Uh, I've seen them lose it at like certain tracks, like ovals. Uh, they don't like the turns very good. So I would love to see them come here. Yeah, you see how much I have to lift there just to make sure this thing's stable in the corner. And we still drift up all the way up the track. Oh, it is a beautiful sight though, all that horsepower. Okay, we gotta use the bottle going down the back stretch here on the final lap. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, spin it around. Save it, save it. Okay, we're good. Okay, use the bottle now. Oh, this is gonna be close. No, oh, it reset me! I think it knew I was cutting the course there. Even though I really didn't cut it by much. Hold on. Hold on, the goal is to not finish last here. I'm on the bottle trying to get this thing to go. The wheel spin is ridiculous. We are not finishing last in this race. I mean, I think we proved that we've created a ridiculous car. It might be a little too ridiculous. Hold on, hold on, shoot the gap. Go for it. Oh, it's sideways again. No, no, don't cut the course. Okay, is it gonna reset me? You know, we're just gonna go send it across the line and whoa, okay. Well, that was rather impressive. Um, how about we go drive something that actually handles decent? Okay, so let's pull something else out of my garage. Uh, I do have a couple cars that I really like. My GR Supra RZ is actually really upgraded. Fantastic handling car. But I recently acquired a Viper SRT GT3. So we might do a race of this. I haven't driven this one yet. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a Viper behind us. I think a four GTs behind them. Uh, we've got two laps here. We're actually at the high speed ring, uh, a classic Gran Turismo track, probably the best one in my opinion. Uh, some people might hate me for that, but uh, also, wow, we don't seem to be as uh, good as the others on the start here, but uh, see if they let off here. I know you can go wide open, especially in a car like this. Get up on the high side. There's quite a bit of banking up here. Oh, got a little bit too high there. Oh, that looks fantastic. Hold look behind us. Uh, okay. Get on the brakes and take it easy while we're all grouped up here. Oh, they are running into each other. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I was looking for my nitrous. Uh, this isn't the Hellcat. This is fine. 
Uh, okay, let's see if we can sneak up the outside here. Oh, I cooked it a little bit in this corner. Uh, yeah, that's a kind of a tricky corner. It looks a lot more wide open than it is. I don't know if it's just really kind of flat, uh, but the car always pushes there. All right, that's going to be an overtake of that car there. We got a Supra. Let's try to sneak up on its outside. Actually, we might be able to make the late dive uh, down the next corner here. And, oh, we're not even close. Hold on, let it up on the banking. We'll get a big toe down this straightaway here. Might should have added more than two laps here, but we'll see. Okay, here comes big toe here. It's like they checked up a little bit off the corner. Okay, we're going to get a ton of them. Uh, plus, this Viper is really fast down the uh, on the high end here. Oh, we're going to go three wide. There we go. Oh, we might still have a chance here. Okay, the car's going to get a little light through here. I was almost wide open. I, I probably could have been wide open there. Uh, I'm really just wanting to catch them, though. Okay, let off. Great. Come on. Get back in it. Don't hit the wall. Okay. Oh, we got to run on the BMW here. If I get a podium, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, this is the receiving corner. Okay, pretty clean through there. Let off a little bit. Uh, slide the tires. Come on. Oh. Okay, we're going to get a run on the, uh, the BMW here. Uh, sneak up the inside. I'd like one more position. Yeah, I really should have set this to three laps. Oh, we might still be able to get it if we can push down in this corner. Uh, oh, you can hear the tires just slipping. Oh, is that another Viper in front of us? Or it might be a Mercedes. Yep, we're gonna have to settle for fourth. That was actually a decent little run there. Uh, I like this car. Uh, we might be able to upgrade it a little bit too. I think typically a lot of the race cars are a little less on the upgrade side, but we'll have to see. So if you guys have any ideas for cars you'd like to see me purchase, maybe if we do another episode of this, we'll purchase an upgrade, uh, maybe even a ridiculous supercar. I mean, they're already ridiculous, they're supercars. But I think we're gonna jump into my Supra here and we'll kind of give you guys a feel for something that isn't American here. But I guarantee you this thing has a ton of grip and it's got a very awesome turbo in it. Okay, so here we are at Mount Panorama. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually put this thing up against the race cars that we were against uh, just a race ago because I think that's the only way this is gonna be fair. Uh, this Supra has so much top end speed. Also, we made it a little bit of a challenge. We got sunset. I think the race will go into the night. Uh, we'll have to see. But I hope I didn't screw this up. Hopefully, we're competitive here. Uh, oh, okay. Race cars have good acceleration. But does the Supra have the top end? And plus, this thing handles ridiculously well. Hold on. Let's see if we can get him here. Okay, starting to come to the realization this might have been a mistake. Hold on. Uh, this thing's got top in. Here we go. We're starting to slowly catch him down the straightaway here. Uh, really gonna have to work up in the mountain section in order to make this work. Okay, come on. Let's try to get the handling here. Uh, we might have finally found our match. Uh, I've been playing with this car a lot. And I've been pretty much winning all the career mode races with it. Uh, but putting it against actual race cars might have been a mistake. Hey, okay, we're approaching the top of the mountain here. Uh, okay, let's slow it down just a bit. I'll show you guys. We'll run one more race with this, and I'll show you it against what it's supposed to be against. Yeah, you'll definitely see a huge difference. Oh, got a good overtake there in the dipper. Come on, hit the brakes. Uh, I still need to turn off those apex markers. They're a little annoying. Uh, I don't have brake markers on. I don't need brake markers. It's just uh, those things, I guess, are supposed to point, like, where you're supposed to aim the car or something. I guess that's the point of them. Uh, I don't really know. On. We're about to have the long run down the hill here, so I'm going to have to stay in the draft. Uh, should have a really fun section coming up, though. Oh, we ha have a really good run there. Wait, what the heck? I'm a little confused. Okay, coming up over the hill. We got a kink to the right. I wonder if I could hit it wide open. Uh, oh, geez, look at the speed. Okay, we're definitely killing them on the top speed here. Okay, and let's get in the brakes. We got a Ford GT behind us. Okay, so we've made our way up to 7th. I might not have to prove anything here. I was like, oh, let's go to the race with the easier opponents, but uh, we're at least competitive with the race cars. I just think if we had longer races, I could probably contend for the win here. Uh, I'm trying not to race like I normally do. <laughs> I'm trying to be somewhat clean here. Okay, can we make the outside move here? How about we go the over and under? Uh, oh, okay, he kind of cut us off there a little bit. Hold on, get up behind him. Yeah, I need a little bit of draft here. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna get that insane top end here. 
Plus they're side by side up ahead of us. Should get a little bit of draft up here. Oh, it feels good. Hold on, can we get up inside of this one? Okay, brakes. Ooh, gotta be smooth on him here. Uh, overshot the corner a little bit. Uh, we got the pass though. Yeah, I'm losing them a little bit up the mountain here. Uh, they got me on acceleration. Okay, come on. Oh, it's gonna get a little tight through here, but I'm trying to push. Uh, I need some speed. Okay, a little sideways there. Okay, trying to carry more speed. Here comes the dipper. I think the AI is a little slow up in this area. Oh, geez. Oh, we're sideways. <laughs> We're just barely holding on to it. Uh, okay, here we go. Dipper time. Try not to cut it here. I think it'll reset you if you cut that section. Okay, and down the hill. Here we go. Okay, we're going to have a, another pretty abrupt right-hander here. And then it'll open up here in just a second. Here we go. Try to get into the gas. Okay, there it is. Oh, we clipped that wall. It's going to hurt us a little bit. Uh, are we going to finish in fourth again? Hold on, let's see what kind of top end we get. Might be able to lunge for like one more position here. Here we go, passing the four GT. Oh, that was clean. Okay, got the king. I'm going to try to be wide open through here. Oh, oh, we got a little bit of air. Come on, slow down. <laughs> okay, we almost completely lost it through there. Uh, that was beautiful. All right, yep, we're going to settle for fifth here. I thought maybe we were fighting for fourth, but... Uh, hold on. Come on, if you guys would just punt each other off the side of the road, that'd be great. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing, though. All right, well, that was nice. Okay, so I'm kind of wanting to see that send uh, down in the kink over here because I could have swore I got air. Uh, hold on. There's the pass on the GT. Okay, so it should be the kink right here looking for it. Did I get air over the curb? Oh, it did lift just a little bit. Hold on, we gotta see that again. On, here we go, and... Oh, yep, yeah, we did definitely lift there. <laughs> that was beautiful. Nice. Okay, so since I love the environment, uh, I guess we can buy something like a Tesla just to test it out. Uh, I think they have a... I think it's the Model S in here. Oh, yeah, there it is. You know what? We're gonna make a purchase of one of these. Let's get a different color here. Let's go with the red. I, I kind of like this. Uh, we'll see what kind of, uh, speed we get here. I know, uh, we're gonna get some insane acceleration, but I don't know what the top speed on this thing is. So is it possible to make this a wide body car? I'm just, oh, we can. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm not sure you can do this by default. Can you buy a wide body kit for a Tesla? Does anybody know? Okay, that thing is, it's wide, it's chunky. Hold on. What other racing parts can we put? Yo, we could put a... Okay, not gonna lie, that kind of looks good on that car. Okay, let's put the uh, side skirt. I'm assuming... Oh, we don't have a diffuser. Uh, you can put a wing on there, which... I mean, I guess it looks okay with the wing. Here, let's go with the high one. And then we can change the end plate on it. So, yeah, we have a wide body Model S. Okay, so we really got to put this thing through its paces. We're going to do a rain race in the Model S. They should be pretty much even, except for the whole fact mine has a couple cosmetics and it's a wide body. Uh, but I have done zero to the actual performance. So this should be a good test. We are on the uh, the Grand Prix circuit here. Uh, oh, this looks kind of ridiculous. Okay. Uh, lots of rain. Huh? What's the inside look? Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> I mean, what did I expect? Uh, it really accelerates pretty well in the rain. Question is, how is it going to handle down here? This is torrential rain. That's, this isn't even normal rain, and I can hardly see where the track apex is. This is where those brake markers come in. Yeah, that was about the slowest corner ever. I'm trying to accelerate. Am I just spinning my tires at the moment? Oh, yeah, I think I'm actually spinning my tires in this thing. Uh, I was wide open there trying to get this thing to hook up. Uh, oh, AI in front of us. Is, they're all slipping and sliding here. This looks ridiculous okay so the rain's definitely a thing i to try to get the power down over here oh you really can't see from the cockpit uh we'll stick on the roof cam for now that way i can see the brake lights of everybody else that we don't blow over somebody up oh, come on uh you know if we can get out of the little group of cars here i feel like we might actually be in decent shape this thing has pretty good traction in the rain i'm not gonna lie like i haven't turned off traction control because i feel like that'd be just death but uh, also the AI, that nice little slip there. Okay, here we go. Got to run. Got the hairpin up here. 
Okay, hitting the brakes. Oh, man, slow down. There we go. Okay, I think we actually have a chance here. As long as I don't screw this up. Come on, get some grip. There we go. A little bit of sliding. Uh, it's definitely that rear wing It's helping us. <laughs> I wonder if that does have an effect. Okay, we just passed second place. This has been actually fairly easy. Uh, not gonna lie, I've raced in the rain before and it was pretty bad with a, a normal car, but these things have grip and it's pretty awesome. All right, really heavy braking here. We got a chicane. That's something on my inside, I can't really tell. Probably, oh yep, I kinda do. I can see the radar on the bottom right. I forget it's over there. Kinda wish it was in the middle of the screen. Okay, so after one lap, we were able to come from 10th place and we have taken the lead. I could probably turn the AI even up uh, further here because, yeah, that actually wasn't bad at all. All right, here we go down the front stretch. It's weird, the grass is flooded too on the track or the, uh, I guess it's the runoff, the dirt areas. A lot of the sand areas are just absolutely full and a lot of the grass is full of puddles. Okay, looking for the braking zone. There's the 150. Oh, we're gonna slide off the track. No, never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, turning kind of late here. Oh, we still missed the apex. <laughs> this is messy. <laughs> I like this. Okay, we're getting a decent little gap looking back. Uh, about halfway through the map. There's some big. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We might have over. Oh, yep. We cooked it. On hit the service road here. Yeah, there's some big puddles, and if you hit puddles, it's really bad in this game. Uh, like, I kind of just want to hit one to show you guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're off two seconds from our last lap. I mean, going off track. Oh, we are sliding through here. It is a drift through the puddles, through the grass. Hold on, keep your foot in it. There we go. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Okay, heavy brakes again, and let's just ease it through the chicane. Uh, no need to get too much here. We pretty much have it handled. You can still hear it breaking traction. Uh, actually, they're catching us a good bit through here. All right, well, we're on the final corner here. Gonna take home the victory in the Tesla. I was hoping to win in something else today, but I mean, we've had some fairly competitive races. I've been proud of this. Okay, here we go. The flag is in the air. We're gonna hit a puddle. Boom, right there. <laughs> nice. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys want to see more of this, you know what to do. Comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button. We'll see you guys next time.